All right, they actually made the quest list very nice. So they say which quests are completed. So Dragon Slayer, which means you can equip rune play buddies and anti-dragon shields. Although I don't know if the anti-dragon shields will be available. There's rune mystery, so you can train rune crafting. Uh, the other ones that you can complete in the Zaya itself, but they are just not completed. You'll have to do them themselves. There's Hunter unlocked, there's Headblood unlocked, and looks like that's about it. So there's no Ancients, there's no Lunars completed in this, so you, you'll have to work your way. Okay, let's see what the tasks are available. Level 20 Agility, award 10 points. Is there anything you can buy for like points that you get? There's like claim points. Click here to select your next... Okay, so you can unlock the next relic, the more points you get. Look, I'm scrolling. Look at the scroll bar right here. There's so many. There's I think there's like 450. It seems most of these are like skill-based though. Oh, there we go. There's more now. There's uh, purchase the can. There's uh, 10 groovy chests unlocked. One Scotizo kill. 100 Slayer tasks completed. 1,000 Shaman. Okay, but this is like the middle as well. So I assume the more you scroll, the harder it will get. Yeah, it seems getting all the skills to 99 will also get something like that. 25 million, it's not even enough to get to 99 in this league. Like you can get way beyond that and it will award you even more experience. I wonder what's the, the, the latest. Let's just go to the maximum total level. Onlet, so you, you I, that that was actually announced like before you can get like onlet uh, the pet. It's I think it's one in sixty five hundred mimic kills, dude. That's impossible. What is this? But that's what they meant. They said nobody will be completing all of them. Like equip a twisted bow, code one. This these are like the end game. These are like uh thousand raids completed. All right, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I don't want to waste too much time now. We're gonna try to. Um, get all of these easier ones at first. Now there's three things that you can choose from the very beginning. There's Abyssal Accumulator. It saves 85% of runes and arrows that you shoot, which seems amazing. Like pretty much like one in tenth almost will be used. So if you're like alking, because I'm not sure if this is for combat only or it also applies to alking, but I think I'll be going for Endless Endurance because something like this can be bought eventually anyway. So let's say if you get like high level rune crafting and you get to blood runes and you get like a lot of them you can just sell them to the shop and just get those runes actually range how do you get the arrows i don't know this island that well i know where to get the runes but the arrows i don't know what's the highest maybe you have to flesh them yourself so i'm gonna be going for endless endurance meaning i will always have 100 percent run energy yeah there we go your run energy will never drain whilst running your hit points are restored four times as quickly oh i thought it was combination with prayer so four times more as quickly and i know it stacks with also like hp cape which becomes eight times and then also if you have the regen bracelet it becomes 16 times it's like one hit point every 3.5 seconds or something it's insane but i don't know if i anyway i just want to get into the game you can only unlock one relic from each selection and cannot go back to this decision at any time later in point People said it's very good at trades. I, I had some uh, chats with other people. They said if you want to, you know, there's going to be no access to stamina potions. It seems like every game mode, like every time everyone starts a new game mode, like Deadman mode, everyone's going for like stealing the cakes. But this time it's in Zaya. Oh, great. <laughs> I have to find men now. I don't know this island. I'm going to assume there's somebody in this house. Also, what I like is that the main accounts cannot interfere with this. So, so nobody can log in with their main account and start like nagging people. And that was so fast. Like I still have 10 HP. I, I think it's the region that I selected. So four times more to generate HP. And I didn't have to wait that long. So because everything is so limited in here, I'm going to go ahead and bank all the items that I got because you never know what you're going to need. Like even like basic things like small fishing net, I probably don't know where to get them. It's probably somewhere there in the Piscatories, but uh, I want to just steal a little bit of cakes. Also, it seems that agility was leveled up automatically to 15. So somewhere in here, you can level that up. But I'm wondering if it's like very tiny obstacles, kind of like Swampletics did, or is it actually full agility course man there's people all over the place some people go straight for the woodcutting i wonder if they have like some kind of strategy but only after two inventories of uh, cakes i'm gonna go and kill rock crabs or sand crabs because i feel like eventually they're gonna get really crowded and i just wanna uh, get those early levels while maybe everyone's doing something else right now because you do need food and it just opened so I feel like I was one of the first ones to get like the cakes. Okay, there's walking crabs, but 
Whatever, I'm just gonna attack a walking crab. It doesn't matter. Early levels really don't matter. And you know the best thing about Twisted League, like a region locked Iron Man, is that whenever I see some like imp, it's like, oh, I gotta get those beads for the quest tonight. No, you can't go to Lumbridge. This is the place where they have to stay. So there's so many things you don't have to do. Like when I was getting cakes, I was like, oh, I need to get bread for the climbing boots. I can't do the quest. There is no climbing boots in this area. And that's what I love. You can just focus on completely different gameplay. Look at my HP. It's 5 right now. It should be 6. Because uh, rune light should show at around this point. Yep, there we go. It went back to 5. Now it's 6. What the hell? It's like double regen. Am I imagining things? Or did I just see 2 HP go up? Now you see what I mean? I came to this place. There were like 3 people in this place. Look at the minimap now. Everyone's running around killing the crabs. But it's still okay. Everybody can share. They have so much HP. We barely hit anything. This guy's hitting 3s already. But I'm trained. Ooh. I think I overtrained my defense a little bit. Wait, hold up. I don't want to train this anymore because Winter Todd is more efficient when you're lower HP so you don't die. But the good thing is that this is not a hardcore item and account, which I was... So if you die, it's not that big of a deal. You can just run back. But let's go ahead and do some wood cutting right now. I want to see how fast I can get to level 50 fire making. I'm going to time this. You don't see the timer, but I will and I will tell you... Whoa, hello, I am back now, level 55 making, it took me 1 hour and 32 minutes, which I thought is gonna be a little bit faster, but uh, I think it's the early levels that, uh, you know, made it seem, and I really need to re-log on rune light, that line is really annoying, but look at all these people here, it's so crowded right now, like mining places. Okay, so I killed a few rock crabs, but one thing I don't get how I only have two tasks completed. I mean, that's already two, that's like three, and there's wood cutting and fire making. How come, uh, what, not all skills go to like level 20? There's attack, well, okay, there's fire making, there's hit points, okay. Why does it say two tasks only completed then? There's, wait, look, look at all these. I don't get it. If I, what, what if it's a bug and I claim the points and I will never get a refund for these? Should I claim them? I'll, I'll just do it. 200 points and okay whoa okay now it shows all eight tasks completed that's a lot until next relic so i thought because i'm going to winter todd why not go and uh, I, I stole two inventories of silk so by the time i come back i should be able to sell to this guy because i think it takes like half an hour for him to stop calling the guards because i stole something from that so that should be around 2.6 thousand just in case i don't get anything from winter Tawn. only three fletching experience oh my god i thought this would be like the perfect place to level up is it because of my fletching level probably but my this is with five times more experience as well what is this people are dropping burn pages somebody has a phoenix pet as well probably so many points obtain a skilling pet 500 points it's at the very bottom you can't even scroll down anymore this guy just literally claimed 500 points Unlock the next relic very, very quickly compared to other people. Just because of the sheer luck that he had. Oh my god. But it's just one pet it seems. Like if you unlock, uh, there's no... If you have multiple ones, like a raccoon or, or the beaver, there's, it seems there's not much difference. Alright, I think it doesn't matter now. I'm gonna just run to this spot. 26k. <laughs> Whoa! Still 56. But what I noticed is when uh, this thing broke, it gave me no construction experience at all. So I think you have to unlock a house for to start getting the construction experience. And also I need to get higher fletching anyway. So this place is not for me at the moment. I have to leave right now. I'm gonna get, level up some fletching. Okay, the dialogue seems to be the same as in Ardon because I never sold in this place. And the full inventory goes for 1.7. Well, that's a lot of money. I don't know what I'm gonna spend it. I want to get like a better sword. I hope there is a sword shop. I know there is a spear shop. And I also got to level 18 fletching. So I think from this point I should be getting more experience. There we go. Level 40 thieving. I stole a little bit more silk because I'm gonna go to Winter Todd. And while I do it, you know, I'm gonna get the passive money. And in total, I think I'm gonna have over 12,000 gold once I exchange all of them. I mean, look at all these. Plus the money that I have. Nice. Hey, hold up, there's one for pickpocketing and master fun, but isn't that 38 thieving? Look, there, there's like steal a, a fruit top and it gives you 10 points. So I'm trying to get some Hosidius favor to steal the fruit, but I cannot do that because this is the place where they do it, but 
all of them are occupied and there's apparently like a line of people waiting as well and if you try to push it if someone else is pushing look it just says that someone else is pushing so i think what i'll do is i'll go and complete the quest that allows you to select how much favor on like you know we can put like 20 percent on Hosidio. so i would have to skip all of this okay so just completed the quest that gives you two experience lamps and i was thinking what i should put it on and it's not gonna be herblord or farming that like i initially thought i'm gonna put it on hunter actually i don't know is it's probably not a good idea right you could just go to raids and catch those bats but i don't know the spawn rate of them i don't know how difficult it is i ah damn i don't know okay i'll do have lord because i should i can't i can do both i guess okay i'll do have lord oh that's a lot of experience it's also by the way uh five times more as you can probably tell. Also, I don't know about agility because the 15 was already once you create the account. Like, I did not level this up. So, maybe it's like very small obstacles they have to keep jumping that they give almost no XP. I'll just use both on Herblord. That's fine. Oh, finally. Oh my god. Look at the thieving level. I got three and a half levels before I completed the task. Now, was it uh, 50 or 10? Let's claim the points. Oh. It was just 10. My god, they're shared. Somebody's hopping worlds. Is this the only spot where it can... Oh no, the crafting is going to be so difficult. Because this is like the only thing you can do from level 1 as far as I know. <laughs> no, somebody's hopping worlds, man. Oh, there we go. Wait, wait. You can't... Look. I'll get the wool. Because I, I tried this on another world. You both get. So, no. That's the wrong world. I think he's hopped to 406. So now the sheep, we, we're going to kind of confuse each other. And that was the perfect. So both get... Wait, they can run away too. Oh my god. I don't do this thing. I don't share sheeps in RuneScape. I, I just go to Grand Exchange to buy some wool. Or Ardown on Iron Man. Oh my god, the spinning wheel is so far away. Well, the bank is here though. Okay. That's doable. How much XP? 12. Oh my god, that's that's with 5 times more too. Oh. Ho, ho. Wait, there is so much sheep in this place compared to the other one. And you can just share them in here and you can spin and just drop all the ball of wool. Uh probably going to keep like uh, one inventory at least for whatever amulets and stuff that I will need. Wait, I don't even know what level crafting you need for this one. I know it's yeah, it's very low 22, so that was the idea. That's why I was training and uh, sharing the sheep, but you need a gold bar, and I think the only way to get it, well, there is like an random event. If if I get that one, that that would be pretty cool. Then I wouldn't need to get 40 mining and 40 smithing. Although the necklace is only for one location, which is Winter Todd. It, this really reminds me when you're playing Iron Man, like you want to do one thing just straight and it just never ends up that way. You end up doing many, many things in between. So I'm trying to find a house. I think you need to buy it for 1,000, but I encountered this and I'm like, you know... Gonna buy a day, gonna take this a little bit. We're gonna see how much experience I'm going to get. I don't think it's that good farming experience. I didn't finish uh, taking all of them. I think what you can do, which is much better, because when I was stealing from this fruit stall, sometimes you get pineapple, which I dumbly throw away, and you can make super compost. Once you make it into super compost, and I think this one too, this one also makes super compost. I have to check which fruit to make that. But then you get like massive experience by just using empty buckets on... But you have to wait until it decomposes completely. I think you already get like 20 or something experience. So that's like 100 experience per bucket. 1,500 per full compost bin. No, I accidentally dropped a pineapple. But I cannot find it here. And there's probably a lot... Oh, there we go. Can I... Yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it took me, according to the timer, 10 minutes to get 10 or actually 15 good items to make the super compost. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with uh, basically certain items are only super compostable. Oh, no, no, no. Almost ate the papaya, but it's full, isn't it? Yeah, I, I miscalculated. Good. Also, it may seem like it's a waste to spend like 20 minutes for two full compost bins of super compost, but you also get thieving experience in here. And according to Runelight, it's 120,000 XP, so it's not, not bad at all. Like, what, I was level 40 when I came here? If you combine with the fruit that I tried to get for three and a half levels, I'm currently 47. Well, actually, after this, bam. Very nice. This took me ages to find because I didn't know what to filter on the map. It's called estate agent so it's going to be found right here and i think once you unlock it you can start gaining construction construction xp in winter todd 
Oh my god. Oh, whoa, the cash. Yes. That's what I've been looking for. But I probably have more from Silk, which I still haven't turned in. But just by burning, by not even like completing, you know, when you complete uh, the Winter Tot kill, you get like extra fire making XP. Just by burning, without that, you're getting 500k XP an hour with 59 fire making. All right, let's see now. Go here, fix. Last time it didn't give any, yeah, 20 construct. Let's see, let's open this one again. Yes, money. Look at this, 16,000 gold plus 10,000 in silk. But yeah, I don't know if I should open all of the chests at the same time. But if I do get any warm equipment, I, I want to use it tonight now. What the? Can I even plant these? Do you need 85 farming for this one in the farming guild for the fruit trees? Can you imagine you have access there to planting banana trees? Oh, nice. Very good because before I came in this place, I was getting hit four every time the winter thought hit me. Now I'm only getting hit three. But if I equip some warm equipment more, I will get hit less and less. And the thing is that with a combination of four times more HP restore, I may not need to eat food at all. All right, guys, I have quite a bit of crates. I'm going to start opening them right now because I'm uh, editing the video at the moment. And it's kind of hard to do that while uh, doing Winter Todd. No. <laughs> well, I guess more fashion scape because it's the same top. Like I already have this one. So I'll just bank this. How did I only get 5.4k? Look, from all the chests, I pretty much got like 30k and then all of those crates like no money right guys there's gonna be something interesting now going on because i just got to level 40 fletching which means combined with fire making which i did not claim yet which should give me enough points to my next relic but what is it gonna be I'm gonna claim points now unlocked i don't i don't get any menu i guess i have to how do you do this Relics. Why, hello there. This is me, a friend from the future, and I messed up a little bit when I was recording live. Um, I, I recorded everything, but the facts were not correct. Basically, when I unlocked a second relic that I could choose, you could actually choose any relic from this line. I mean, it literally says selection one, selection two, and what I thought is if you select endurance, you can only choose this line and nothing else, which is not the case. You can just pick any you want from this line all right let's see what i got arcane courier all winter taught crates and resources gathered from mining fishing wood cutting harvesting crops and blast mining are automatically sent to the bank how awesome does that sound like you can literally chop any tree you want and everything will go straight to the bank you don't have to clear your inventory so i was thinking about like something like uh, barbarian fishing you could just fish and that's all you don't have to drop anything it's like super afk everything goes to the bank of course then you can destroy it because you probably don't need any of the barbarian fish but i think i'm gonna test it out for my next video it really sounds like oh my god that's like so overpowered doesn't it but then you have something like hardcore harvester that i could have picked but then again i don't know if it's better or not this one is you receive three times the normal amount of resources from mining fishing wood cutting harvesting herbs basically everything you get three times more even including herbs so if you plan like an anard you know usually what's the standard that you get but you don't have secateurs so let's say you get like eight anards you would get three times more. Oh my god. Farming contracts are tripled as well. This is so insane for farming. Like you get those snake grass seeds. Oh my god. It's five times more XP as well. So much experience is to be gained here. And but they don't grant any bonus experience on that. And farming cycles occur every one minute instead of every five minutes, which pretty much as far as I understand, it's five or four times faster farming. This sounds a little bit better. I think I got the worst one because I thought you couldn't pick, like I said, but look at this one. When receiving Slayer tasks and farming contracts, you can now choose what you are assigned. So I assume you can pick any Slayer task at any time you want. And I think I missed out on this one. I think this one was the best one. This is what I would have picked, but I got instead this one. So I will not make the same mistake in the future again, but this, this seems to be 
very very awesome but anyway this is going to be all for this video i'm going to go and edit this because there's plenty of editing to do uh it's, it's a little bit late so i'm uh, talking a little bit down now but hopefully a new video also tomorrow because i'm really excited like i'm actually pumped for this moment man i want to see what people other people are gonna get and what's like the best gear is going to be like what how people are gonna do raids like new tactics gonna have to be you know there's no battles gloves there's no a lot of different gear setups that people will have to do anyway thank you for watching hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you tomorrow bye bye